like to share an idea with you. Yesterday, I built this trailer, this bike trailer. It took me about three hours, and this is the product. You can see it's made from a, um, a goods trolley. That's the basis of the trailer, anyway. Um, the wheels obviously aren't original. Um, the wheels are normally about that size, but that would bring the back of the trailer lower, which would mean that the trailer would hit the wheel. So I had to use these larger ones. Everything is recycled. Absolutely everything on the trailer. Uh, these wheels came from an old wheelchair that I found years ago and I just held onto the wheels. So basically everything that you see except for the bike I just collected over a couple of years. I didn't have to buy a single thing, I didn't have to go searching for a single thing, I had everything. The other pieces I used were the hook that holds on to it came from, it looks like, a harness from windsurfing, a windsurfing harness. It's a steel thing. Um, uh, <laughs> it helps you to hold on to the, onto the, the windsurfer that came from an op shop. And um, I picked up two of those and held on to them. Um, as you can see, I've had to cut this centre bar here because that kept rubbing on the tyre. And I've also had to um, reverse the bend of that bar there. The other one's curve concave. I had to make this so it was convex, which is just a technical term for um, a, a, the opposite curve get it away from the wheel. It's well clear now, but when you go over bumps and stuff, the bike will do that. When the rear wheel goes over the bump, it'll do that and hit the bar, so that needs to be well clear. As for the way that the trailer attaches to the bike, I think there's probably an unlimited number of ways of doing that. I've just used what the materials that I have. Okay, you can see clearly here that's the windsurfing harness uh, hook there. Now obviously if that was the only thing holding the trailer um, it would slip along the bar so I had to use some sort of pin to keep it in place which you can see here now um, again that was just one that I happened to have and you'll need to use something to hold it in place so I just drilled a hole there obviously and it sits in there and that works nicely but also you can imagine that um, the bar would want to pop out now I was just lucky that the arrangement that I made works so that the pin also stops it from coming out but that may not work for you so you'll have to work out some arrangement maybe um, rope tied around there or something I tried rope um, but I wanted my system uh, to be as simple as possible I didn't want to be tying and untying rope all the time so I think I was just lucky but um, if you go to a hardware store if you don't mind spending a little bit of money you'll be able to find some sort of pin of some sort that goes in there uh, there are pins that will go in and then there's another aspect to the pin which will snap over there so that'll probably solve both of those problems anyway good luck with that um, if you are using a um, good trolley the only thing you need to be aware of is that with the turning it needs to be free to move like this you can't just tie it straight to the um, to the um, seat um, so yeah it took three hours um, 
all it required was one cut here, one cut here, and one cut here with a hacksaw, a hole drilled here, um, and the rest was experimenting really. So um, if I'm able to, to give you some ideas here, I imagine you could do it in much less than three hours. Your time would be taken up in finding wheels, I reckon. I would recommend that if you rent or own a place um, with a yard, that you just continuously collect stuff, recycled stuff, because that's what I've done. I have not had a stable place with a yard for years, so I store everything in my Land Cruiser. Blah, blah, blah.